ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Make them feel welcome. Campus yes. party okay. heroes. Yes, thank Diedrich you very much. And Dwight. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. So uh, it's like 11 now. All very tired, right? Almost uh, getting a little bit sleepy. Yeah. No, of course not. You feel the energy, right? The energy right here at campus party. You made it. You are here. I want to see some hands if you're from outside of the Netherlands. Outside of the Netherlands. Whoop wow, awesome. that is amazing. Very cool. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like. Uh, do you have the? No. Who has the mic? Where's I've the got the yeah. mic. Yeah, I want to hear from some people where they are from. All right, where are you guys yeah. from? Hi there. Hi. Where are you from? Italy. 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 All right. right. Germany. 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 Wow. A little bit closer. Cool. Yeah, Who's from continent? a little bit further away? Over there? Brazil. Yes, Brazil. Wait, are All you right. the guy that got here at like 10 o'clock last night before the place was open and was sleeping in the press room all night? Uh, that I must be another Brazilian guy. Yes. yes. Where are you <laughs> from? Ecuador. Ecuador. Oh, my God. Cool. My wife is from Ecuador. She's right there. Yes. How about, how about yes. this guy? He's wearing yes. a really good shirt. Where are you from? The Netherlands. Ah, Whereabouts in the Netherlands? Utrecht. Oh, he's a local, a local guy. We okay, like well, that's locals, okay, too. Steve. No we problem like the there. Locals. What about you guys? Where are you guys from? Ecuador. Netherlands. The Netherlands? Taiwan. Taiwan? Wow, you've got like the yeah. whole world in yeah. your hands. It's amazing, right? And uh, you know, this is going to be the business marathon, is going the main challenge of Campus Party. And what you're going to do here is you're like, you hear all about the startups and they are successful and they get funding and they get customers. Well, what you're going to do here is build a startup in two days. Yourself. Build a, build a startup in two days? Don't be yeah. ridiculous. Oh, yes, you only need one day, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> and it does it isn't gonna be that scary as it may sound because we have it all figured out for you. We get the whole process, all the steps you will be going through. We'll be supporting you, coaching you. We have tons of experts and mentors to help you out there. So probably I should already have been in slide three or four by right now. Does this work? Oh uh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. The infrared thing hides itself down here. Oh yeah. Oops. Oh yeah, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, right. this so is, I this have is also this for I us. I have done this before. Yeah. So actually what these guys are doing are showing you all of the mistakes that you must not make <laughs> on <laughs> Sunday <laughs> when you are or yeah. Saturday night when you are presenting back. <laughs> exactly. I was getting to that. This is sort of like the informal meetup for the big thing starts tomorrow. So you get here the inside tricks how to not present on <laughs> Saturday, and also some, some other inside uh, secrets we will tell you. So let's try that again. There you go. Oh yeah, you there see, you welcome, go. yeah, yes. So what are we gonna talk about tonight? We're gonna not going to do through all the details of the business marathon, we're going to do that tomorrow morning at 11, but we're not just giving you the highlights, you get a feel for it, we also have some time for you to meet each other, maybe exchange some ideas, what you want to be working on, but we're going to introduce the business marathon I'm going to give you some tips for your idea, and uh, then you have a meet uh, and greet. But first, I have to repeat this a lot during this campus party. For our fantastic sponsors, I'm going to name them also, Utrecht Region, the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Mitros, Utrecht Science Park, TNO, and Utrecht Inc. I want to give you a very Good applause for ma for them for making this possible. Give it up for the for the sponsors, please. Woo! Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, a little bit out about ourselves. Um, I'm going to start off. Then I'm going to give the, the word to to Dwight. So my name is Diederik Diederik van Wingerde, and uh, I'm a pragmatic idealist. Yes, I'm an idealist. I have very clear vision about how how I want to see the world and why but I also want to work on it right now, like as an entrepreneur. That's what social entrepreneur means. I have my own startup. We, get, we create open source products, open source hardware products. So you own your own data, and it is open for everybody to innovate uh, with the products that we make. And we do that for health and, uh, and for energy. And uh, regarding hackathons, the business marathon is a hackathon. I'm going to please raise your hand. Who knows what a hackathon is? Okay. Indeed, okay. some more explanation. Then. So a hackathon is like a business startup competition, normally in the weekends. Now we're doing it through the weeks. 
and I've been to 15 already. A lot of time uh, participating, also winning some prizes, also as mentor, as coach, and now I'm uh, over here facilitating this one. Dwight, you want to take it sure, over? Sure, I'll take it from here. Yeah, so my name's Dwight Gunning. Uh, you can probably tell from the accent, I'm the Australian, guilty as charged. <laughs> uh, I'm looking after the Mobility Business Marathon this weekend. Uh, I've actually had a startup in the mobility space before. It failed, that happens. Uh, but I really get inspired by coming down to these types of events, hackathons uh, and startup weekends as well, which is uh, how I got involved in this whole thing. Uh, those types of events are, are things that really inspire me. I love seeing how we get young and sometimes old as well. People in the room who are super motivated, hyper intelligent uh, and ready to get things done. Uh, and when I see the audience that we have here tonight, I'm really enthusiastic and excited about what we can create together over the next couple of days. So that's why I'm pumped to be here at uh, the Business Marathon uh, and this campus party. Uh, I'm an engineer uh, by training uh, and I work part-time for a corporate. I also have a bunch of side projects uh, that I'm hoping to be the next big thing. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you through the weekend or, or the next few days and into the weekend, I should say, uh, as we get this Business Marathon going. I want to take it forward now. So through the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes, we're going to just talk a little bit about the business marathon. One of the very first things that you'll be doing tomorrow uh, if you're looking to participate in the business marathon is pitching an idea. Uh, we're looking for really creative and exciting ideas about uh, energy on Diederik's side and mobility on my side. And then we're going to form teams and so on. So the main thing for tonight is basically to get some advice and some tips on pitching and presenting. Uh, and then we're going to have a little bit more of an informal meet and greet session around. We'll probably use this space around us to, uh, to start to talk and meet each other, see if we've got some interesting and inspiring ideas to work on over the next couple of days. But the business marathons, what are they all about? So in the case of uh, energy and mobility, we have two massive challenges for society that we face right now today, even problems, you can call them that. Uh, on my side with mobility, uh, the mobility challenge here in the Netherlands in particular is that this is a com country that has some of the best transportation systems, uh, the best infrastructure in the world, top ranked, uh, yet there's still traffic jams. There's still problems and, and friction in the mobility and the way people move around day to day. So we're looking uh, at the Netherlands and in particular the case of the Utrecht Science Park for the people who are, who's from Utrecht? So you guys probably know, there's a couple in the audience. Who's from the Netherlands in general? Great, so you probably heard that the Utrecht Science Park is a, a bit of a nightmare to move around. There's a whole bunch of different organizations that are based there like university, universities, hospitals, uh, and other private enterprise. Uh, and this can be a really tough place to get to. If you're not from the Netherlands, you're probably recognizing these types of things, maybe in your home countries, in your home cities where you have similar challenges in certain areas. So I think you'll all agree that mobility uh, is a huge challenge for people. Uh, and it's also a, an area of great opportunity as well. So when you think about how we can, how improving uh, access to transport and to move around empowers people uh, and has a really positive effect on society, mobility is a huge opportunity for us to do great things. So that's what we're looking to do with the mobility challenge this weekend is give you all access to great experts, great data, uh, and some great inspiration about how we can solve mobility challenges for the world, uh, for the Netherlands and for Utrecht, uh, and hopefully things that you can take home with you as solutions that could be applied anywhere. So that's the business marathon energy. Like I said, we start tomorrow morning pitching ideas. We're gonna form teams. We'll give you a lot of encouragement and support throughout the next few days to basically come up with an, a complete solution. It could be a startup, it could be a viable business. We certainly expect and hope that it will be a vi viable uh, solution at the end of the weekend, uh, or so I should say at the end of the event. Uh, and then we're gonna present our final solutions on Saturday morning in a pre-final format with judges and so on. We select a few teams and we'll take those on into a final presentation on Saturday night. I'll let Dietrich talk to you a little bit about the prizes in a moment. So that's the mobility challenge. I want to ask, has anybody got any questions for me about the mobility challenge? Uh, if you've got interest in energy, Diderik's going to take the mic in a moment and, uh, and take you through how that works. 
Does everybody now understand what you may be getting yourself into with the Mobility Business Marathon? Well, it doesn't sound difficult. Just invent something like the Hyperloop and we'll be done. Yeah. Precise. Right. Yeah. Precise. Yeah. All right. So if there's no questions from you about mobility, I'll hand over oh, to... Oh, oh, oh wait. Oh, there is one. Always at the last minute. Fantastic. Name and question, please. Okay. My name's Morgan. What's the scale? The scale? Yeah. Can you... Well, we're talking about, are we talking about Hyperloop or are we talking about local tracked mobility systems? It's up to you. If you have something that's Hyperloop scale, I want to see it. If you're, if you're inspired by the specific challenge that we put in front of you, which we have a lot of information about and we have a lot of, uh, of clarity about where the challenge lies, which is the Utrecht Science Park uh, situation, and you want to focus on solving those sorts of issues, then we go ahead with that. But yeah, it's very broad and it's open to you within the context of mobility, uh, and in Diderik's case, energy as well, any, any ideas that are interesting uh, and you want to pursue, we will encourage you and support you on that through the weekend. So it sounds like the scale is whatever is just outside of your comfort zone. Yes. Just enough to stretch your mind and imagination. Just Diderik. enough by a thousand miles. Of course. Just enough, yeah. So okay. I'll hand over now yeah. to Diderik. Thanks, Thanks. everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah, I already I, I think I already have an idea for the for the mobility challenge. <laughs> We're talking about hyperloop. And then Nellis we like the bike. How about a biker loop? You know, a frictionless biking through the city. How about that? Anyway, um yes, uh, the business marathon energy. Okay. I'm gonna tell a little bit about the the energy landscape in the world. Uh, right now, but I know a lot more about it and the experts that are going to be here tomorrow as well So you can uh, get a lot more information to see what's going on, but basically it comes down to this, right? You all know that fossil fuels is not really really good. We want to move to clean energy and Over the past few years a lot of lot of innovations have been made in that field, right? Uh, the solar panels have become more efficient. They have become cheaper. There's a lot of innovation in wind power thermal power hydro a lot and we have reached a point where the price of clean energy is dropping below the price of fossil energy even with the low oil, oil prices we have today in fact in dubai there is now a solar power plant that produces energy cheaper than they can do it with oil and gas and that's right there so with all the experiments that have been done over the past few years, we know a lot. However, now we want to scale up. We want to make it bigger. Not just some solar panels here, some solar panels there, some windmill over here. We want to, to everybody be a producer of energy, any home. And the challenge then comes, how can we transform the city? Because we're talking right here more about the city because more and more people move to the city as well. How can we maintain a nice environment to live? Also related to mobility, but also related to energy production. We don't want the exhaust gases from the cars anymore. You we want a clean, nice living environment. So the challenge is, how do we change the current buildings, houses that are there to start producing energy? That's one. And once they start producing energy, you have to know that at some point during the day, there is more solar power, there is more wind power. You have to coordinate that because you have to be able to say, okay, now I need to send some energy this place because now energy is needed there and energy is produced there and consumed there. And this is what we call the so-called smart grid, the smart energy grid. It's sort of like the marriage of internet and the energy grid. And the real challenge is how can we come up with solutions to scale that up in cities, in neighborhoods. And uh, that's up for you to, to come up with these, uh, these kind of solutions. You're going to be in the driving seat like somebody with a really great idea or imagine yourself to be a startup entrepreneur to create a team tomorrow you can be there on stage pitching your creative idea creating that team and building something throughout the coming days we will have more checkpoints for you more help and on saturday morning you will be pitching your idea for mobility the semi-finals and the semi-finals for energy and then Three of the teams for each business marathon will be selected to be pitching on the main stage over there. So it will be in front of everybody, the big shots, all the composeros there. There will be six pitches and out of those six pitches, two winners will be selected. One for energy and one for mobility. 
and there you can win 2,500 euros with us. That's like uh, that's like the big thing. And also, the the partners and the sponsors we were applauding for, they have said that they will talk with you to see if we you can take the solution that you came up with a step further to make it a reality. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Does Do it sound wanna? exciting? Yeah. Question. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get a microphone. Actually, about what you said um, regarding the fact that now actually we have we are facing the time to scale up the yes. the green energy. Yes. Uh, I'm from Belgium, and actually we've already tried that back in the day. In the sense that, for example, we don't have sun, so uh, at some point the government provided subsidies to the people to to be capable to produce their own uh, solar energy and then yes. to sell it to other people. But the thing is, uh, it wasn't sustainable because yes. we cannot compare, for example, Belgium to Dubai or some African nope. countries. Exactly. So, and that's why we have this mixture of different energy providers, right? Yeah. So how can we tackle that issue? Yes. That's one thing. Exactly, yes. And uh, also, so far, nuclear in France, for example, in Belgium is still three or four times cheaper than yes. uh, solar energy. Yes. And even though I'd like it not to be true, it's going to remain this way for a little bit longer. So this is another issue that we need to tackle at some point. Yes. Yeah, that's really great. Thank you so much. These are issues that we need to tackle. And that's the thing that you'll be working on, preferably on a real-world problem, a really tough challenge. And you come, you come up with a creative solution how to do that. I don't, of course, n I don't know if you expect me to answer your questions, but that is my answer. Get your team together, pitch tomorrow, and see if you can you can crack that nut. Yeah, thank you very much. Any other questions? So, Diedrich, I heard something about six teams get to go pitch on the main stage in front of more than yeah. two thousand camposeros. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? That's I insane. Know. That it would is. make me nervous. Yeah. yeah. Aren't no, you I don't believe that, that one, Nick. Huh? You'll be the moderator, so you get to actually. <laughs> oh not shit. only do you get to present <laughs> in front of insane. all these people, you get to spend time on stage with. Yeah. Can I? Nick. Can I? Can I also join the? I, I assume you're doing some sort of pitch coaching, or you know, yes. how, how to stand on a stage in front of. Can I join that too? Yes, absolutely. Thanks. Yeah, it's good that you mentioned that. We'll be coaching you along the way to do this. We have very good pitch coaches on board. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? Anybody excited? Yeah. <laughs> there we go, stupid chairs. <laughs> uh, both of your briefs are incredibly vague. How? Uh, yeah, like that's on purpose. Well, of course, but <laughs> what, what exactly are you looking meeting. for as an outcome? Yes. You mentioned an actual viable business. Yes. Are we talking about a prototype, a proposal? Yes. Are we talking yes. about just a PowerPoint presentation? Are we, where yeah. are we going with Let that? me tell you. So we're going to ex tell you that in detail tomorrow. What will be happening, the result will be that you will do a pitch, a really sh super short presentation for the judges. And there you're going to demonstrate what you have done during those days. And the judge is going to be looking at a number of things, six criteria. I'm not going to mention all of them, but they are going to look at, is it original what you came up with? Are you solving a real world problem? Does it have value for society? The the solution that you made, or the prototype, or at least some idea of the solution. How does it look? Do they feel that it's going to work? They want to see something about the progress that you made. Uh, but I cannot say if that you have to program something, or you have to have the business model figure out. It's sort of the combination of everything. So when you're going to form your team tomorrow, make sure that you have different skill sets, complementary skill sets, so that you can work on all those aspects a little bit. Does it answer your question? More I'll, or less. I'll answer the question oh. with a question. How far do you think you could get in three days? I know, you're not answering it. He's got the Octocat. <laughs> no, no, he's like, oh, I see uh, I'm, I see I'm an out. I see an Octocat on the gentleman's T-shirt, so hopefully he can code. Yeah. Can you code a solution in three days? To the world's energy Yeah, problem? he just said he, 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 he promised. He promised, yeah, okay. I heard that. It's what what's your name? You know it's on live yeah, stream. Uh, uh, well, oh, what, what's we're your live name? Stream. Morgan. 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 Morgan's got right. Global Energy. Yes. Saturday morning, eleven o'clock. All right. Any Come more questions? Who's excited? Yeah, Couple I'm of excited. you. Okay. Yeah, who's tired? I'm seeing some hands, guys. Who's excited? Yeah, Who wants to be part of this? 
All right. All right. Yes. All right. Let's do Woo. it. Let's yeah. solve some challenges. So I'm, I'm wondering, Stay actually, I, I know you don't want to necessarily hear these tonight, maybe tomorrow, but who's actually got an idea that they think, hey, I know how to solve this energy problem? Oh. Yeah, one, two, three. How about the All mobility right. problem? Anyone got some yeah. mobility ideas? Yeah. I, mean, I, yes. I got to tell you, I, I have no idea how to solve the problem, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm, you know, I suffer the problem every day, so I'm a happy first paying customer to somebody who gets rid of it all. Excellent, excellent. There might be something actually, if you have an idea and you want to, you, you want to give it a test run, we might have something for you in a moment. But are there any further questions now on uh, on energy yes. before we move Go it ahead. forward? Actually, the, the mobility issue will be definitely a little bit easy. I mean, more a little quite easier to to handle than the energy one in the sense that we already have open data, for example, for mobility. Yeah, whereas sure for energy, you have government, uh, big businesses involved in that, and there is a lot of lobbying as well. So we could come up with some very good in interesting ideas, but at the end, we're not sure they could be implemented because of all the restriction and hesitation that are related to energy issues. Sure, th there's definitely challenges to executing on these types of ideas, but we're in this space, in this inspirational environment of, of campus party to sort of look a little bit beyond that, to stretch ourselves, uh, to, to ask ourselves what if, uh, and also then kind of put a little bit of pressure back on and find out how we can overcome those types of challenges. Yeah. So they're definitely present, but hey, with the smart people in the room that I was talking about earlier, and I, and I like to consider myself one of you, I hope that we can work together over the next few days to make these sorts of things happen. That's, yeah, and that's I, I the can, opportunity I can, here. I can add to that, that the government people, some of them, they will be here. So you can talk to them directly about uh, those limitations and see if you can come up with a solution for them, actually. Yep. Okay. So one important thing for you is to connect because you'll be working here on the business marathons, but there's also tons of other stuff going on, right? So you want to be connected to us, to, to know what's going on and to be connected to each other. What we did for that, we created uh, a wiki. This is the URL of the wiki with all the information nicely structured right there with the criteria exactly the program, minute to minute, you can find everything there. Of course, we will repeat it for you as well, but in case you're somewhere around here, you're not exactly sure anymore, just go to the wiki. What we've also done, we've created a Slack. Please raise your hand if you know Slack. We know Slack. You know Slack? Great chance A lot learn. of them know it already. For the people who don't know it, ask someone who just raised their hand. <laughs> but basically, it's sort of a chat, a chat app for big groups. So we created the special font for the business marathon. You can also exchange documents. And we're going to put every one of you on Slack. So right now, after we are finished with the formal part here, we can put you on there as well. And then you can keep in touch with your own teammates. You can contact the experts. You can contact us. We post messages on there and everything. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, um, to, to the question about the judging criteria, and if you're looking for a more concrete description of each of the challenges, if you're looking for the judging criteria to figure out whether this is something you think is uh, feasible and, and achievable over the next few days, the judging criteria is on the, the wiki. So just take a look at that, yeah. uh, that URL right now. You'll find the judging criteria so you can have a look at that ahead of time and get a head start over some of the other participants who will join tomorrow. The other thing to know is that if you want to be part of the Slack group, you just need to drop an email to Diederik or myself um, you'll find our contact details on that wiki. So your first port of call is check out the wiki website, grab an email address for Diederik or myself, let us know that you're interested in keeping, uh, keeping an eye on the business marathons or in fact participating and getting your team together and hooked up uh, and we will give you an invitation to join Slack. It's a super easy to use Android application, super easy to use iPhone application um, and when you're plugged into the network with your laptops, there's also a, a website and a desktop app that you can download. It's, uh, it's a really good communication tool, and we're going to be using that right through the weekend to keep you up to date. Yes. Exactly. I think I'm going to give this one to you now, right? Sure, Pitch. you can. Going to tell a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about inside pitching. Inside secret about pitching. Yeah, yes. so just, b just to warm you up a little bit, we're going to talk a little bit about what makes a great pitch. Uh, We've got 60 seconds to pitch tomorrow morning an idea. Now this, uh, this is basically a tried and true formula. It's been used uh, hundreds of thousands of times before. 
this is a great way to share an idea and to validate a brand new idea. So basically you want to make sure that you let the audience know your name and who you are, what you stand for, the problem that you're solving, and in particular who you're solving it for. Try not to focus too much on what you do, but who you do it for uh, is, a, is a good tip. And from there, you want to let people understand your solution, or at least your idea of the solution in its current form as you see it. It probably will change through the next few days. Uh, and it will s almost certainly change before you get to uh, before you get to market and, and scale. You also need to explain why it's unique and why we should care about it. Uh, and very importantly, and a lot of people miss this when they're pitching, is that they forget to share who they are. People don't typically at this early stage necessarily immediately buy into the idea or the solution, the problem but they are more immediately inclined to buy into you as an individual. So you want to be sharing who you are, share your experience, why you've got a, an innovative and visionary idea, and why you're the person who can lead or at least be part of the, that team that's going to go forward and make real progress and have a great experience, including a lot of fun uh, for the next few days. You also finally want to make sure that you get across the types of skills uh, and experiences that you're hoping to have in the people that will join you through uh, through the event and then possibly beyond because the sky's the limit here and uh, you could really take an idea well off into the future uh, with this business marathon. So that's kind of the an anatomy of the pitch. Who's pitched before at, a, at an event, at a hackathon or maybe a startup weekend or even just pitched their startup uh, in front of an audience? There's a few. Let's see. No, so get the hands right up. I'm getting some yep. half-hearted half hands. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. So about a third of the audience have done some, some pitching before. Does that sound about right? Have I covered the important things in 60 seconds? There's not much more you can do with an idea in 60 seconds, am I right? Anybody else want to add anything? Is there anything else that you should, I mean, should you promise fame and fortune during that 60 seconds? Is, is that, I wouldn't recommend it. I think, oh, there's a question. No, actually, I would say that if we spend too much time talking about us, then we lose time talking about the actual product. So I would just give my name and then go straight for work to what matters to the public. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's up to you to know what, what matters most as well. Play to your own strengths and play to your own experiences. Although I would argue that if you know, you're know you planning to build a rocket, for example, and you happen to be a rocket scientist, that might be valuable information that people would want to know. Because otherwise, you know, the difference between uh, being a rocket scientist and an idiot. <laughs> never say you're an idiot. <laughs> Elon Musk wasn't a rocket scientist. He just uh, learned along the way. That's because he's not a rocket scientist. Yeah. But if you already have a... Never mind. We're all good. Cool. I think that was your five-minute warning or something, was it? Was it? Oh, I have no idea. It could have been. I thought it was <laughs> just a sweet ringtone. All right. We, get, we carry on. So... Guys, I've got to ask, is there anybody, and it came up a moment ago, has anybody got an idea? Does, does anybody want to practice a pitch right now? Because we can do that. I can't guarantee you will get a team immediately, uh, but if you've got something that you'd like to throw out there and share, we're happy to hear it and give somebody a turn. Who had an idea that they wanted to maybe share? Nick's got one. Can you come up, Nick? Nick, come to the stage, please. Nick will give you a, a fine example of a... Of, a, of a, a business marathon uh, pitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of winging it, so don't don't overhype it. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> we all are. Okay. Okay, Nick, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, it, okay. It, b before I start, is it okay if I go for both energy and mobility of at course. the same time? Yeah, that's the, the those are the best ideas. All right. Absolutely. I just, hold on, I just got a, I just yeah? got a timer. Are you, you actually going to time me? Yeah. I got a timer. Yeah, yeah this, is the, real, this is the real deal. Okay. And I actually promised that we did not practice this. This is not a... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm giving you a one-minute countdown. Do I get one minute and one second? Because I'm not doing it in my no. native language. I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Over to you, Nick. No, Hi, oh guys. Oh my oh oh no, oh no, no, oh no, 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 no. This is not how we're going to do it. No? This no, no, no. Your minutes start <laughs> as, you as soon as you start talking. Also, for you, tomorrow, your minutes start as soon as you say your first word. But first, before you start, we're, of course, going to give it up for Nick. A round of applause, oh, all right. Please. See you, Nick. Hi, my name's Nick, and actually I'd like to start with a question. How many of you like to drink beer? Raise your hands. Quick, I'm running out of time. All right, that's all of you. How many of you are running out of energy tonight? Quick, raise your hands. Great, that's also all of you. So I've got the same problem, and what I would love to do 
is just create a very simple service called Beer On Demand so that you guys can just get beer anytime. And when I say you guys, I mean us. Anytime you like during this event. Now, I'm not a coder, so I can't figure that out, but I can figure out the business model. So I need somebody to help me out with figuring out how we can do this. App, SMS, I have no idea. Somebody who can figure out how to get the beer, I'll worry about the business model. We are going to make a fortune in just three days. Okay, you got 15 seconds. What We're going to make a fortune in just three days. I drink a lot of beer. I know a lot about beer. So do you guys. We can solve the mobility problem and the energy problem and make Dwight very happy. And just for Diedrich, we're gonna do wine as well. Thumbs up, thumbs right. up, give it up for Nick. Oh, that was Thank amazing. You. Yeah, now everybody wants to join your team. Well done. Yeah, I, right? I don't think we can do anything with alcohol though, I'm sorry. <laughs> so now you've seen <laughs> a pretty reasonable example. Who thought that was all right? Is that okay? Yeah? Wow, tough crowd, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it is 11.45. So, we're not going to hold you up any longer. Uh, what I would say is that was a fair example of the content and also I think the level of in energy that we'd like to see uh, in our pitches. Of course, you would like, we would like to see you focusing on uh, maybe solutions that have a positive impact on society. Uh, that's what we're all about here at the, at the campus party, but nonetheless, great pitch. So, once again, round of applause for Nick. What do we do next? We want yeah, to well wrap I this I up. What well I want to, yes, um, I do. Now you've seen Nick pitching, and I think there is a great opportunity here for you to sort of like a free pitch. You can come here, do your pitch, or at least talk what your idea is for free. And you have the opportunity also to get other people here interested maybe, and you can exchange ideas and maybe already improve your idea before tomorrow when the real pitches start. I think that's a really unique, special, valuable opportunity. So once more, I want to give anyone who we wants give to come you a last yes. chance. We yes. got one, come all right. Here. Brilliant. Ah, what yes. a brave man. So we've got one. Mr. Stevens, we borrow your microphone. Of course. I'll get the timer ready. So we're just gonna do one practice pitch here. Is there anybody else? I'm getting started now, I'm getting excited. Is yes. there anybody else? Because I don't want to have 100 people come and present right now. Okay, so we have one more excellent, awesome campus hero. What's your name? My name is Ray. Ray. All right, we're going to hear from Ray in just a second. I need to warm up the timer. Okay, can you make the timer like beep when it finishes the minute? Uh, I can try. I'm yeah. gonna cr I'll go crazy. That's how we want to do it tomorrow as well, that you hear the, the ring or whatever, I'm gonna and go then crazy. you know it's finished. Okay, so guys, this is just one pitch to give you an idea. Then we're going to wrap this up and let you get out of here, but we will encourage you to stick around and, and network a little bit. The next thing you need to do after this and after we hear this, pres uh, this pitch is be here tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'll move this slide forward. 11 a.m. right here is where we get started with the real pitches. But for now, I need a massive round of applause and 60 seconds. When you're ready, take it away. But give it up. Hello people, I'm Ray. Um, today I want to pitch about mobility. Um, I want to solve mobility problem. So nowadays, um, there's a lot of traffic jam happening all over the, the big cities in the world. And to I, I want to find alternative um, transportation means. And actually this is uh, widely used in many developing country. For example, China, for example, Vietnam, they're using electronic bike. And but I I come by the way, I come from China. And I find it very interesting that I don't see the electronic bike being widely used in um place like Germany, which is considered as <laughs> which is considered as the most advanced in technology. But fifteen seconds. I what do you want to do? So I want to solve I know the problem is that um the electronic bike technology is heavily dependent on the battery that it carries. So the um, recycling of the battery. It's batteries. Time on. Time's up. Oh. Okay. All right. Ready. Thank you so much. Can right. I just finish talking about that? Should we give him another minute to, to finish? Yeah. All yeah. right. We'll give you another minute. Keep going. Tell I us will, about I will it. be quick. So uh, the problem on recycling of the battery is that uh, this process is really costly. 
Um, and so that is one of the main reasons that electronic bike is not um, widely used in, um, let's say, Europe, because it's costly. And I think uh, there is ways to reduce uh, the cost on recycling the battery. And that is to put some new technologies, for example, RFID, to track all the battery, to identify what are the type of this battery. And for example, there could be some, um, I mean, there are ways where we can reduce this uh, process of tracking the battery. And then, so this can reduce the cost of recycling the battery. Also, I think there are many new uh, ways to uh, recycle the battery, there are some new technology, but still not being applied to electronic bike yet. And so I would like to, so myself, I study robotics. So I have some knowledge in uh, computer vision, which I can track. Uh, I know I have some idea of how to- um, Ray? More effectively- Ray? Yeah. I think you got some homework to do, my friend. Yes. Tomorrow they're gonna cut you off at 60 seconds. You can do it. What do you need? Let's wrap up with who you need to help you with this idea. Um, I need people who have special abilities, uh, uh, who are experts in batteries. Also, people who knows about recycling. Not just the technology, but also in the industry of recycling, know how the business works. And yeah. Awesome, that was two well minutes. Done. That was two All minutes. All right, thank you very much, Ray. Ray. Thank you. Round of applause for Ray. Yeah. Dwight, Dwight. Your man with the uh, with the T-shirt, oh, he, he got excited. He got exci yeah. <laughs> we might be here till two a.m. Now like we started like pitching. It's like can, right. I? Yeah. can I? Can I? Can I? Who wants to stick around for one more? Should we hear one more? Is it going to be good? Yes. Uh, it's really gonna be quick. Okay, All right. Thanks, man. It's be I didn't say will it be yeah. quick. I said will it be good? Your name again? Morgan. Morgan. That's right. It's Morgan. Morgan, where are you from? Uh, London, England. Yeah, whereabouts in London? Close enough. Dwight, are you ready? Morgan. Uh, shut the bush. Morgan. Right. You said you're walking your mate's son later. Hey, guys, I you like can take this one later. Uh, yeah. offline. I was just giving we're you time to get the clock ready, dude. We've got, we've got a schedule to keep, right? Yeah, okay. Who's ready to hear Morgan? Yeah, it's really, really, really quick, guys. When you're ready, okay. take it away. Okay, so I want to solve both these problems um, by decentralizing energy production and centralizing energy waste. Uh, Tesla, big names in uh, energy production are moving towards this. You've got cars that are no longer pollute polluting as they go along, you've got energy, but that means centralized waste, and now we have a power plant somewhere else that's generating all that waste. I not only want to look at how the mobility is affecting the energy problem, but how other industries like food production and uh, uh, like cement and uh, industrial production can produce waste and how it uses energy. Uh, I am a entrepreneur, I'm an engineer and a uh, Bitcoin enthusiast and uh, I'd like a team of coders, of creators, of critical thinkers um, to join me in this mission. Awesome. All right. Ten Thank seconds to much. go. Great. Lock and load. All right. I've got two mics now. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, let these people, yeah, let I'm these curious. people meet and greet. Maybe there is one more. Do you see? Yeah, oh, there is. One there more. is, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And, and, and did I just see the young lady at the back put yeah. her hand up? As I, yeah. I, I, I <laughs> no. Oh, you were pointing. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, come over come here. Up, come on up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this Let's is do this. Completely unplanned, <laughs> but <laughs> completely <laughs> awesome. Who agrees? Whatever <laughs> works, right? Okay, so it's going to be the last 60 seconds. Take yes, this with the mic. Sorry. I've got the timer. When you're ready, take. What was your name, right, sir? Uh, Desiree. Sorry? Desiree. Desiree. Yeah. Desiree, Desiree is going to rock this pitch. 60 seconds. But only after the audience makes him feel like a rock star. Give it up for Woo! Desiree. Woo! Let's do this. Desiree. When you start talking. Okay. Um, good night, everyone. I'm Desiree. And uh, question: Who here is uh, know what is an API? Can you raise your hand? Perfect. And who knows what is open data? Everyone. All right. I'm sure you already got stuck in traffic. Well, I'm from Belgium, and we have a lot of traffic. So what I'm proposing here is basically to use the open data and the API all together to solve these two issues. So basically, 
Imagine that you're in your car, stuck in traffic, you push this button to share on the cloud all the data regarding the traffic, where data is blocked, where uh, there are delays, accidents, whatever. This would be stopped somewhere, and then everyone would have access to it, so then either as an individual or as an organization, you can train this model by predicting where will be the next sure. traffic jam, where will be the next issue, so you will be solving basically the solution. You'll know when you can use your car, bicycle. Who do you need? What do you need? What I need is actually people who are good in marketing, people who are good in business, so then we can build business and marketing. Oh. Round of applause. <laughs> all right. That That's sixty right. second timer. It's a tough, tough time, That's right? All right. We're seeing it. Good job, man. Good job. Well done, Desiree. Thank you, sir, Mike. You're good, man. Check yes. in. Take a seat. Practice a bit more. The more you will do, the better. Yeah, you mentioned something about the, uh, about the microphone, right? Yeah, what, yeah, what, what, what I was thinking is maybe there's some people in the audience who are a little bit nervous or maybe yes. it might be their first time on stage yes. or they've never used a microphone, exactly. for example. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes at first. Uh, can I have it? Well, uh, what I always do when I have a microphone like this, I just put it like this. Like I'm actually on your chin? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why? Because then I don't need to think about it anymore. If I have to keep it like this or this or this, when you just keep it like this, it's always fine. And and I, I, by the looks of it, nobody puts it really on your chin. So if you're the only one, then that's fine, right? Yeah. But you have a different technique. You have a different technique. Yeah, I do, because I'm sort of used to using a microphone. But you know what tends to happen is you come up on stage, you get all excited, you see the audience, you go, oh my god. And the microphone does this. <laughs> 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 so you got to put it back up here and of course you notice halfway through so then it gets really loud right and that's not good either <laughs> and then the beautiful woman in the audience distracts you You're like, oh, wow, <laughs> oh it's oh don't do that right don't be that person it's not cool doesn't make you feel good all right thanks uh that's it guys for tonight please stick around if you want to meet perhaps your fellow teammates far about with the people who pitch, maybe that you think they had a great idea, talk to them, improve the idea, improve the pitch. We will be here as well to ask questions relating to energy, to your idea. And um, if nothing else, meet us back here tomorrow morning at 11. And, uh, and do me a favor, bring three friends with you, all right? Sweet. That is, the, that is the number one thing. Team is everything in getting these ideas underway. And if you didn't bring any friends with you, it's all right. You've got all night to find some. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, Dwight, one last question. Are you signing autographs today or not? No. Okay. Oh, well, we can. Depends what, you, what you're offering. Sign cash, beer, anything. Guys, thanks for your attention. Okay. We've had, a, we've had a fantastic time. As Diederik said, we'll be sticking around for, uh, to give you more information if you're interested right now. Please check the wiki. Please uh, request an invite to the Slack channel so that we can stay in touch throughout this business marathon. And let's rock it. Ladies and gentlemen, give all it up right. for Dwight and Diederik, who are going to be here all week to make you guys look great. And because of that, and because we know you're probably not going to get a lot of sleep, we've got a little token of appreciation to help uh, you get through the next few days. Thank you. It is. It is. <laughs> yes. Cool. All, all right, right. These guys are around if you've got questions for them. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. See you tomorrow. See 11 o'clock. Bye.